wherever you've travelled from, London welcomes you. And on behalf of the institution, I thank you for joining us to celebrate the 2013 International Structural Awards. By any standard, this is a truly international event. Over 80 projects were submitted by some 50 different structural engineering practices spanning over 20 countries. So let's get straight on now with the awards. And tonight we are celebrating excellence in structural engineering and there have been some exemplary projects. sustainability and the winner is ACOM their work on the Halley 6 Antarctic Research Station and the supreme award for this year goes to Jingsu Provincial Communications Planning and Design Institute with ACOM Asia for the Taitao Bridge when I go back First of all, I've shown my, I've shared this with my colleagues, and like an expedition, a uh, mountain climber, we try to climb greater heights every time. So what I'd like to do is to build on the experience of this project and to go on to uh, bigger and better things. It's the ultimate accolade as a structural engineer to be awarded by such a great institution is it's not the icing on the cake, it is everything. It's, it's, it's knowing that you're recognised by your peers. It ranks as a great award and um, yeah, yeah, like I won two tonight and no, it just builds up the practice. I cannot think of a ceremony we've been to which has been so incredibly diverse and international in its nature than the Institution of Structural Engineer Awards have been tonight. It's pretty unique. Um, pretty much nowhere in the world they have um, uh, um, a, a war ceremony like that. Lots of old colleagues, lots of friends, that we all rush off and do our own things and have events where we can all come together, rub shoulders, share a drink, share a joke, share a bit of past and a bit of future. Fantastic event. The standard is very high. Sometimes working in different countries <coughs> pose different challenges, so judging is not easy and uh, we really have a wide spectrum uh, a very good project.